So today we will try to make this junk coat, which we let to overgrow because we are timing him for show. So we need to take all coat off all over. And as there is still a lot of undercoat and it's pretty long, we will start with the big twinking and clean the, the coat before we start with the stripping. And all, always remember to tie the coat and take all what it can take. There we go. It's okay, yeah, good boy. So, just to clean the coat so we can have the undercoat off because then we can easily strip only the cover coat cleaned out. This will save you half of the work. You can see it doesn't cut, it just takes the wall hair. So also down on the legs, on the sides, on the front legs and on the body. Now it's actually not not taking much anymore, so we can start with the real stripping. I think I will take the rainbow medium and start to pull. It's okay. Sit. Sit, mister. And we go systematically all the way. to the undercoat. We are taking all off on this. Uh -uh. If you are unsure with the knife, you can actually take the, the diamond. It's also good when you do the undercoat stripping. Uh -uh -uh. Good boy. And you can see we are already down to the uh -uh -uh -uh. He's not happy for it. I'm tightening the skin to make it as much comfortable for, for him as possible. Uh -uh. That's how it should look. There shouldn't be any hair left. All should go off. Nay, 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 Eddie. We are already having a nice piece and you just go on and go on place after place don't do like a little there a little there be more systematic and going after one area after the another And with this tool you can just, it's the shorty, it's the best tool you can have. You can just do this, which you cannot do with knife. So you can nicely pull. It goes so easy because the coat is ready and long enough so it just goes off. There's a little new coat and this the short is actually sorting out so you only take the top layer off so look how nicely we clean this part and you just continue down So now we are through the wall stripping, here is the area where we stripped down in the underline from the elbow like this and here like this. You can see we clean the coat, there is nothing only a little leftovers 
down here to the elbow. This piece could go a little maybe. So here we stripped down all this area, all this and from here down and the tail as much he was accepting it. So So now we will strip the top of the head, the skull, and this should all go off. And we take the shorty. They don't like it, so you have to have good grip. And then take all this off. And between the eyebrow, uh, 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 which they are not happy for, so, but it has to go. We have like 10 weeks to the show, so... Nine, 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 nine. Stop. Maybe take the double course. We actually, strip from the end of the ear. All this should go off. <laughs> Always take care because the skin is very soft on on the skull, so be careful not to scratch there. Better work slower than to make damage on the skin. Ah, 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 ah. Good boy. And here over the eyebrow, this should go out. This. Uh, 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 uh. Good boy. And here, yeah, I know, I know. All this, we strip off. The double knife is actually pretty smart for it because it can take in smaller areas and not so tough for the dog. Now we take the shorty for the rest. Yeah. It's okay, Eddie. It's okay, good boy. And here. So now we have the head actually ready for the for the clipping. A little maybe here. You always have to check where is the eyebrow. And already in five weeks you will have beautiful coat on the on this difficult area because it's really the masterpiece of the grooming to make the head. And smoothly to the neck area, a little behind the ears. There we are. So, super. Yeah. So now we are clipping the neck. We are starting from the chest bone up, like this. Take this off so we can see what we are doing. So here we have the eye. We always find the eye. It's okay. And then we clip up to the eye. 
always to the corner of the eye. to smooth it. Uh, 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 now, Eddie, 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 stop. Mm -hmm. Now we have it nicely the head. It's important you always strip the top first before clipping because then you know where you are. Now we will give him back this because we need to be sure with this. Ah, 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 stay. Take the ears. You always clip the ears this way. Inside the ear. Uh -uh. It's a good trick to keep them a little on top of the head because then they don't have so much chances to move. Uh -uh. Good. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. You cannot cut them, never cut like this, because then you will risk to hit the skin, but always out this way. I keep him even with the other fingers so he cannot move the head because he is not so used to to the machine. Uh -uh. If you are unsure, better use scissors instead. Did the machine work? Leave it. Go on. Go on. We go on. Block. Our fantastic new dinners, which will soon come to the. And take when you have the eye corner. Yes. So now we will cut the ears around. This you must be careful. So always better leave a little more than to cut into the ear. I 
I'm always feeling where is the edge of the ear and then cutting all this off and the same on the other ear and outside here so and inside because you can pluck it but don't pluck everything because it's irritating the dog so I normally just cut the top of it so now we have this done now we will take the brush and brush the beard so we know what we are working with we are normally not so happy with it it's our new scissors they will soon be in the in the shop and they are just wow I, I love that so here we go and here we have a little rest which we didn't strip because this is a little too hard for that so I normally affiliate this between the eyes and we take the small scissors and always when you cut around the eyes never go like this always slide the scissors away from the eye this way so you cannot harm the dog if he suddenly moves always remember you have live animal on the table the same here lie the scissors away from the eye out this way then you have it nicely cleaned now we will do the eyebrow this is good to have a little comb straight then cut like this if you are unsure to cut against the eye because you have to light a little then better cut this way just to be perfectly sure you will not harm the dog I am more secure with this so I dare to do it but Good boy. Then just to straighten it out. So beautiful eyebrow. And I will go on the other side. Yeah, it's always a little tricky. And do the other eyebrow. It shouldn't just go to the nose just a little over like here then we do the same on this side it will always help you with the line you stripped before and sometimes I go a little under and clip because it's lifting the eyebrow up It's helping if you straighten it with fingers and then do the magic touch. There we go. Ready? There we have the head done, clipped nicely. Eyebrows between the eyes and this is the head so now we have the result here we went all the way nicely clipped the front legs the chest full stripped 
the head. Cleaned, throat, cut at the the fore chest, nicely done legs, and in the rear, the coat is clean, there is only a little rest. Eyebrow move a little. Now it's nice. So that's how it should look when it's done after some hours. So.